Bank reconciliation is a very important process in SAP FICO module. The bank reconciliation process involves uploading of an electronic bank statement to SAP system and synchronizing the transactions that had happened in the bank to the main bank account in SAP. The first and foremost thing to understand before we actually proceed with the bank reconciliation process is to understand an electronic bank statement. There are different types of electronic bank statements and MT940 is one of the major formats that is used across the world. Hey, this is Abhinam and welcome back to the channel. In this video series, I am going to explain about the Swift MT940 electronic bank statement. I will explain in detail about the structure, the format and the different aspects of the MT940 statement so that you can understand it in depth before you actually try to upload the statement and debug any bank reconciliation issues. Before we proceed into the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you find the video useful, like it, share it and keep me motivated. You can also contribute to the channel by becoming a super member and get access member exclusive coupon codes and videos. If you do not want to do a recurring payment, then you can also do a one time contribution by hitting the thanks button below this video. I hope you keep you motivated and let's go into the video. So let us try to understand what is this MT940. MT940 is a type of electronic bank statement that is issued by an organization called as SWIFT. SWIFT stands for Society for the Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication and it is an Belgium based international organization and it plays the role of streamlining the interbank data communication. For example, the bank statements. SWIFT had come up with a universal electronic bank statement formats for various purposes and one of these is MT940. MT stands for the message type and 940 is the ID of this message. 940 or MT940 is a statement that is issued by the bank to the account holder and contains data like the opening balance, the closing balance of the account, the transactions that have happened on that account and this statement as I said will be sent by the bank to the account holder at regular intervals. You can see a sample electronic bank statement of MT940 type towards the right side of the screen and although it looks intimidating at the first go, it is very easy to understand the statement if we understand the basic structure of MT940. The key to understand the structure of MT940 is the text that is mentioned in the columns at the beginning of every line. This text mentioned between the columns is called as tag. Each and every line has its own tag and this tag will determine what data is contained in that line. To make it simpler, I will walk you through the structure of MT940 and we'll see what is the purpose and what is the definition of each and every tag. How can we read each and every line based on this tags? Here is the list of all the tags of MT940 statement. The first column mentions whether the tag is optional or mandatory to be mentioned in the statement. The second tag describes the ID or the character of the tag. The third column mentions the description of this tag. Let us first go through each and every tag one by one and try to understand what does each tag describe and then we will go to the fourth column which mentions how the content should be structured for each and every tag. The first tag is 20. 20 mentions the transaction reference number. Whenever a bank performs any transaction, it has a unique representation ID and that unique reference ID is mentioned in the tag 20 as the transaction reference number. Tag 21 contains the related reference. That means if a particular statement is sent by the bank to the account holder in response to any other previous statement, then the reference of that previous statement should be mentioned in the tag 21. Then we will be able to identify what is the predecessor statement for this statement. Tag 25A is an account identification. This contains the bank account number of 18 characters. Based on this account number only the EBS setup will be able to identify for which house bank account or statement is sent by the bank. Field 28C contains the statement number or the sequence number. If a statement is split into multiple parts, then in that case the statement number will remain the same whereas the sequence number will be 1, 2, 3 and so on. And on a same date, if multiple statements sent by the bank to the account holder, then the statement number also will be in sequence to that. Usually only one statement is sent every day and the next day statement also follows the consecutive statement number. And if at all the previous statement number does not match with the next statement number, then the system will not allow us to upload that statement. Also, if multiple statements are uploaded with the same statement number, then the system will ignore that upload considering that the statement has already been updated. Opening balance, the tag 60A contains the balance in the account at the beginning of the day. 61 is a statement line. 61 and 86 are always in pair 
whenever the bank wants to mention any particular transaction that took place on that account then tag 61 contains the statement line which mentions what is the amount whether it is a debit or a credit the value date of the transaction the date of the transaction when it happened and tag 86 contains other information regarding that transaction which the bank is sending to the account owner for example if at all you have made a vendor payment and bank had deposited the money to the vendor accounts from your bank account and at the end of the day in the statement the bank will mention in the tag 61 that the amount is sent to the vendor and tag 86 will contain the document number that you are using in f110 clearing so that the system will be able to identify this and clear that line item in every statement 61 and 86 will always be together and these two statements can repeat multiple times depending upon the number of transactions that took place on that statement on that particular day tag 62a contains the closing balance closing balance is nothing but the opening balance minus or plus the transactions that have happened on that day if it is a debit then it will reduce and if it is a credit then it will increase tag 64 also represents closing balance but it is the available balance that means the available funds the difference between closing balance and the closing available balance is that closing balance contains the balance which is the result of the transactions that have happened on that bank account whereas available balance will actually represent the available balance to the account holder for example if there are a funds of 1 lakh rupees in the statement then if the bank had put aside or held aside certain amount of balance for the interest payment for example 1000 rupees then the available balance to the account holder is 1 lakh minus 1000 rupees which is 99000 rupees only although there are 1 lakh rupees of amount available on that particular bank account which is the closing balance the available amount to the account holder is only 99000 the tag 64 represents the available balance to the account holder this is an optional tag the bank might or might not use this all the time now going to the next tag 65 which is forward available balance if at all the bank wants to mention to the account holder that what is the available balance at some forward date then the bank will make use of this tag 65 as we can see in the status tag 65 is optional and also tag 86 again information to the account owner if at all bank wants to provide any other information in addition to the information with respect to any particular transaction to the account holder then the bank will make use of this tag 86 this is also an optional tag so this is about the different tags in the mt940 statement hope you have liked it in the next video that i'm going to release i will explain in further about the content of each and every tag how to read the content and how can we understand the statement better to debug the electronic bank statement related issues in sap if you found the video useful do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are finding my content useful all over then please do motivate me by becoming a super member or by contributing by hitting the thanks button below this video see you in the next video until then take care